get into this position has taken 26 years of, of hard work. Um, it's kind of like the process of a river from its start to its end. Um, I've been moulded by lots of experiences, life experiences, good and bad. I like to say it's, I'm a graduate of the University of Life. I think relationships and being able to change your personality as, as life moulds you is very important. Without relationships, I don't think human beings can relate to each other. And I've been very lucky that I've got a really good family and friend support system who have, have been with me the entire way. Well, I started off as a teacher, I uh, taught for four years and then um, after meeting my husband, I left teaching and I went into the computer industry and I worked there in, in Johannesburg for uh, about three years. Then we got an opportunity to head off into the Natal Midlands, which was the middle of nowhere, but we ran a trading store. And that was when we were just the right people in the right place at the right time. And my husband had been, in the, been trained in the fuel industry. And between the two of us, we were able to put in a bid for a small fuel depot with engine um, in a tiny little, little country town called Crichton. And that's where it started with my husband and I and two drivers and um, one clerk. And we just slowly, slowly through sheer perseverance and um, dedication have changed and molded the company into where it is. Being resilient has been our biggest um, advantage. I'm inspired by men and women who are able to bounce back from hardship and hard times. I think that if you are able to have a kind of personality that becomes resilient to, to changes that anything or anything that life throws at you, you become a, a stronger, um, more dynamic leader. Women that do that on their own accord and even later in life, people like Pam Golding are very inspiring for me. She only started when she was 55. And I think that's, that's inspiring from, for any woman who's always thought it's too old to start, you, to start something. I've been a woman in a man's world for 26 years and I've learned the hard way how to stand up for myself. There's quite an art to negotiation. I've found that if you're the only woman around the table, the less I say, the better. Because when I do speak, I need to, to be very clear and know that what I'm saying is relevant. I find men like results. And I'm good at that. I do not do waffle. I like to, to produce something and have something tangible for, for the people I work for um, quickly and efficiently. Yeah, so I think working in a man's world is tough, but you have to, you have to be able to read them. And um, as a woman, you do have certain advantages. Um, you just have to use them to, to the benefit. I'm certainly not happy with what I've achieved at this point in time. I think the best is yet to come. I've always had a, a passion for women in business. I always said when I was able to, I would want to create a business hub which was all under one roof and it was run by a woman who all owned their own business. I'm confident that time, time is soon where I can let, let go of the baby to grow up and I can go and do what me, Michelle Gregory, wants to do. I'm very clear in the fact that when I drive out of my work premises, I leave my work behind. I think that has been my saving grace. Um, in the beginning, I mean, I had three toddlers under four years and being a mom for me is the most humbling and most precious gift a woman can have in life. And um, that grounds me, it gives me purpose, and it balances where I need to be um, in that scenario, which is in two, one foot in both sides. So to be successful, I think you need to be 
Be very conscious of how you're balancing all the balls. I would have to tell myself to um, be patient. The saying, slowly, slowly catch a monkey is very relevant. I think when you're young, you, you're impulsive and you want to get things done very quickly. Set your goals on what you want them to be and know that you will get there eventually and be resilient in trying to get there. But it's not going to happen overnight unless you win the jackpot. Secondly, I would say you need to be humble. In Wazani Berg, we've had, we've had times where we've had to pick ourselves up, dust ourselves off and get back in the saddle. And that's what being humble is all about. Also, the last thing I would say is to be bold. I know as a, as a young mom, I battled with saying what I felt. Um, and 26 years later, I know that I can sit around a boardroom and use my integrity to say what I need to say.